Welcome back everyone. In this video I'm going to take a look at getting the BL Touch sensor set up with my Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.3 board and it's going to be specifically in relation to my Hypercube Evolution printer build that I'm doing. So let's get stuck into it now. Well, welcome to my nightmare. Um, <laughs> here is uh, the BL Touch wiring, and for the moment, I've just jury rigged this. Um, so I've got a couple of cables one from the servo here, and one from the uh, Zmin connector here, and basically, they just come up into here and those cables are basically just pushed in down the connectors there and I've taped it up to hold it solid just to get this testing done. Now, with the servo, this is quite important. The pinout here is in a different order to that of the BL Touch. So if you're using this connector, which goes onto the BL Touch, this servo is the the cables here are not in the right order so on here we've got green as ground and then the 5 volts and as the red in the center and then the signal on the board the ground and the positive are reversed around so please do take note of that when you wire it up or else you won't be a happy camper basically Okay, so for the moment, that's how it's wired up. Pretty nasty, but anyway, it, uh, it is working and you know, I can at least test it and make sure all the homing and everything's right. Okay, well, let's have a look at the code then. Okay, so I've created a separate video that discusses getting Visual Studio set up and Platform IO and getting the Marlin 2.0 project ready to modify. And it also talks about how to load the firmware onto the controller board. So I'll put a link below to that video. So please check that out. As far as getting the BL Touch sensor set up, what we need to do is to take a look at the configuration.h file. And the first thing we want to look for is the, the define use zmin plug setting. Now we want to uncomment that. And I've already done that here. And the next thing we want to look for is BL touch. Here we are here. And we want to uh, uncomment this define BL touch that sets the firmware up to use the actual BL touch sensor and we want to look for num uh, servos here we are now the big tree this big tree tech board only has one servo output so we want to uncomment and we want to this will be set to three by default we want to just set that to one so we'll be using the first one the next thing we want to look for is Z probe offsets. Okay, now you'll see this diagram here actually explains how to set up the offsets. And what we're actually doing is we're setting up where the probe is in relation to the actual hot end. So I have just done this roughly to start off with just to get this going. If the probe is to the right of the hot end, uh, then it's a positive value. And if it's to the left, it's a negative. And I found when I measured it, it was around 25 millimeters. So I've set the X to 25. Now with the Y, if it's behind the uh, nozzle or hot end, then it's positive as well. And I've measured it and it's around 35. Now the Z, 
will also need to be set. I'm not that worried about it at the moment. I just want to sort of get it going. I will come back and fine tune that particular setting, but I can tell you after having looked at it, the hot end's a couple of mils away from the actual build platform, and I'm pretty happy with that at the moment because it gives me a margin of safety. Next thing uh, that I have actually changed is the bed size. Now, what I found is I was hoping to get 300 by 300 on the build platform. I don't quite get that with the Titan Aero extruder. I only found I could get to 280 or just over 280, about 285 uh, millimeters uh, before the extruder was hitting against the motor mount and you know i'm okay with that so i've set the x bed size to 280 and while i was at it i've actually also found that i get 350 millimeters in the z height before it's just off sort of binding at the bottom so i've set those uh anyway um, so they're all ready to go the next thing we want to look at is actually turning on the auto bed leveling so what i've done i've actually uncommented uh, this auto bed leveling by linear setting so it will use that method for leveling the bed now if we scroll down through here the actual grid points that will be used to set here so at the moment uh, the x points is set to three so it'll do one at either side one in the middle and the y is the same so this is going to uh, run a grid of um, nine points and that's pretty much it as far as getting it going okay well let's have a look at how it actually works now in the real world Okay, firstly, one thing I should have added, obviously you need to compile those changes and create the actual firmware, copy it across onto the actual board and um, get it to install. As I say, I covered off on how to do all this in that previous video, so please take a look at it. However, once you've got the firmware installed, then we're going to use Prontoface to actually test it out and look in that video I'll also talk about where to get pronto face and how to install it and everything but uh, what we want to do is connect to the printer it says it's now online and we should be able to give it a home command and the bed will move down a little bit hone the x and the y and the BL touch will also home. There we go. And we should also be able to, now that it's honed, give it a G29, which will cause the bed leveling. So it'll do it first at the zero zero location, and then do it in the center of the X. Okay, and that's job done. And if we now uh, take a look, it's actually given us back the results of that leveling. Anyway, that's uh, setting up the BL Touch. I 
dare say there's going to be a little bit more fine tuning and there may be a couple of other settings I look at but essentially that's up and going and all looking pretty good okay cheers for now if you like what I'm doing then please do like the video if you'd like to see more then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new and I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.